there's a lot of macro factors playing right. here. And the first, first and foremost is the affordability issue. Right. Used car prices are still elevated from, from the times post-COVID, you know, when there was a shortage right. of new cars. Right. Compound on top of that, higher interest rates that have been going up, plus just the inflationary pressures that consumers are facing on other things that they buy every day. So there's no doubt there's a, an affordability issue. Right. That being said, to your point, we feel really good about the sequential progress that we're making. Um, we feel great about the cost control that we've been going after as well. And our big task is just making sure that we have plenty of inventory that consumers want that's at an affordable price while also making sure that we get them connected with the right lender to give them the best payment. Right. Now, uh, that's something that's important because the rates for that for car loans, we've seen them go up oh, yeah. substantially. Absolutely. So that has to hurt people who are buying it. Uh, a recent model, uh, model as opposed to, say, six, seven, eight years, which might help them? Well, you know, whether you're buying a newer model or an older model, interest rates are up. Interest rates are up. Absolutely up. And it's, so it's impacting top credit customers, but it's also really impacting, you know, lower credit customers. Even though the cars sure. are much less in price here because but it's a monthly payment. But the, the, even, the, even the older cars still cost more than they did. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I don't know uh, the number of variables you have. You know, now we have electric, okay? Yeah. We have uh, a Fed that is just bent on taking, we'd say, longer, higher. Um, but you also have a UAW strike. Yes. How do you manage your inventory? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great question. I think as far as the UAW strike, it's a little early to tell the impact it's going to have on the business. You know, it really depends on how long it goes uh, and if there's going to be an expansion. We certainly are monitoring the impacts, not only on inventory, but also on parts because of, obviously we have to build cars to bring them up to the to the, the CarMax standard. So that's absolutely something we're going to be continuing to uh, to monitor. But at this point, it hasn't really played into the overall industry. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.